Hello everyone, it's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Capricorn right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Capricorns out there. Check the birth chart if this does not resonate for you. Um, go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. I appreciate everyone's love and support. Um, if anyone needed a personal reading, my information is in the description box below down there so that you can send me your questions. Um, everything else about this reading is in the description box below. All right, let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Getting like this sick energy that I get from you guys, Capricorn. Like you guys feel sick of someone. Like, I don't know, either someone feels sick of someone or someone's like sick of their job or something like that. What's going on with Capricorn? It's like melancholy. It's like I'm just doing this just to do it. And I feel like that's how you feel right now. Um, expect powerful change though. New moon eclipse. So maybe some of you are very being very um, despondent. You know, thinking that something is not never going to change. It's going to change. What else for Capricorn? For this week in April. Meditate and contemplate. Sagittarius got this also. Um, yeah, just sit there and think for a minute. You got to sit down and think for a minute. I feel like you need to have some solitude. You could have a bunch of energies around you that it's conflicting your energy, right? What else is going on for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Okay. Yeah, so we have your hard work is paying off. So something is definitely going to change for you, Capricorn. What else? New moon in Capricorn, new moon in Pisces, new moon eclipse. So there's a lot of new moon cards out here. So keep in mind that when you manifest during the new moon, it's very potent around this time. Um, so just thought you guys should know that. What else for Capricorn? All right, it's time to release negativity. What else for Capricorn? I'm hearing Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. What else for Capricorn? Alright, take time to breathe out. Yeah, I feel like if you guys have one of those hard jobs, just <sighs> take a vacay. You and your loved ones are safe. You don't got to work so hard, alright? You and your loved ones will be alright, Capricorn, alright? Let's see. Let's clarify what you, the Union Oracle. Let's see what they have to say. I want to know what this negative energy is about. Time to release negativity for Capricorn. Why is this here? Time to release negativity for Capricorn. Okay. So we have Chiron, guarded wounds. Aries energy. I feel like, yeah, you guys could be dealing with some wounds from a twin flame that was influenced by a third party. All right. This seems pretty self-explanatory. That's something that you need to release. Um... You're wounded from this situation, and I feel like it's still there in your energy. Clarify, meditate, and contemplate for Capricorn. All right, change, courage. I feel like you need to meditate before you make this change, because I feel like there's a lot of opinions around you, either a lot of opinions, or you could be thinking in and out on what, how you want to do something. I feel like you know how to do something, but it's like maybe you don't want to you don't want to um, make any fast movements here. We have uh, divine feminine here that just popped out, so you're very much in your power. That's great. All right, so let's see why is your hard work is paying off here for Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, third eye clarity that comes out a lot lately. People are starting to see things for what they are, whether they want to see it or not, but they're seeing it. Um, but your hard work is definitely paying off. I feel like maybe Capricorn, if someone, if you try to tell someone something, they're starting to now see it. I feel like you were trying to get someone to see something and now someone sees it. But, all right, let's see. Expect powerful change for Capricorn. Expect powerful change for Capricorn. All right, healing, inner child. 
Maybe you feel like whatever happened when you were a child is always supposed to happen, but it's not that. Something's going to change for you. Something that maybe you thought that you would never have. But since you healed your inner child, now you're going to get it. Yeah, and assistance from spirit guides. Your spirit guides are around you right now, Capricorn, and they're making sure that you heal your inner child before you get this change. You're going to get this change. You're going to get this move. You're going to get whatever you want here. But I feel like there's something that you need to think about. I don't know what that is for you. Take time to breathe out for Capricorn. Why is this here for Capricorn? I feel like for most of you, you could just be working too hard and that's it, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. Yep, I knew it. So we have the Ace, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then we have Control Tactics. Someone here could be either trying to control you or you have clarity about this control that's happening here. I feel like if someone here was trying to... Someone is interfering into something. Trying to get someone to not move on. Trying to get someone to not change. Clarify control tactics for Capricorn. Control tactics for Capricorn. Yeah, we have reunion. Soul ties. Someone doesn't want someone to reunite with someone. That's what I'm getting. I thought this was a job because, you know, it's Capricorn that I'm reading for. But this sounds like love. I feel like this negative person has wounded you or this situation could be talking about your person's person and why they can't come to you is because they're being controlled by someone here. You know, in this picture, it's a masculine being controlled and he finally gets the clarity about the reunion through the control that he's going through. So I feel like, I feel like the control tactics, it's supposed to happen. Why? Why do I say this? Because the spirit guides are here and they're going to be, you know, tapping this person on their shoulder like you know this person's controlling you but you know this person over here would never control you right so that's how you know spirit works they they kind of let bad things happen to people so that they can tell the difference between a good person and a bad person because i feel like this person here i feel like maybe you're trying to get someone to see something and you and then you moved on and you're like you know i'm not going to try to get you to see something anymore i'm just going to move on and as soon as you moved on, I feel like that's when they started seeing it. Now they get what you're saying. Now they get what you mean when you were talking about that person. Maybe they just thought that you didn't like that person. But, no, you were truly trying to give them advice about something. You were truly trying to give them clarity. All right, Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn for this week in April? Yeah, definitely meditation is very important for you right now. All right. So let's see. We have the Three of Wands here, the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Five of Cups. Wow. Okay. Um. So someone could be waiting on you. I feel like you got tired of waiting on someone, though, uh, Capricorn, and you ended something here. You used your intuition about it. You took a leap of faith. You took care of your own finances by yourself. This person is in some sort of regret here because you took a leap of faith. You ended something. They really feel like you betrayed them when really all you were doing was holding back your energy or trying to save your energy. Clarify the Three of Wands here. Why is the Three of Wands here for Capricorn? We have Temperance here with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus here. But I feel like you guys are elevating. Something about having patience too. Clarify the Ace of Wands. There's the Ace of Wands here for Capricorn. Someone is like learning new things too. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords. So someone learned through a heartbreak. I feel like you were being patient with this person to start something brand new, and it just never happened, right? So it ended up hurting you, and, but you've ended it here. We have the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here for Capricorn? Maybe this person was in a commitment and had you waiting. That's, that seems like it. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, the Death card, and the Chariot. Yeah, this person here 
Um, use your intuition and you you held back from this person. Here with the Nine of Swords and the Death card and the Chariot, I feel like this person is having a lot of anxiety because you changed and you moved on. You're definitely making, you're, you're overcoming obstacles by yourself, but you're doing it quietly and this person is trying to figure out what you're doing. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. They could be worried that you're probably giving to someone else or they're, they're worried because they're realizing that what they gave you was unbalanced. And now it could be like really, really over. And that's how they feel. They feel like it's really over. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. For Capricorn. Um, oh, well. Cards fall on the floor. All right. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. For Capricorn, Six of Wands, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there was people involved. They were juggling these people. These people were being defensive towards them. They're trying to please a lot of people. Someone was trying to please a lot of people here, but then they just pulled back their energy. Now, these people are just left fighting with themselves is what I'm getting. Six of Wands and the Five of Wands, that's overcoming competition, winning the competition, but at the same time dealing with energy that just won't put up with losing. It's like someone is a sore loser here with the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. It's like this person is still dealing with the with the loser, the person I just lost, right? Um, and they're holding on to it. I feel like you're holding back and you became very successful and... Um, you're overcoming a lot of obstacles here. All right, Ten of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Six of Cups. So you're very positive about ending this. I feel like you don't... I feel like maybe in the past, yeah, you were hurt, but now you're just like... This person here wants to... Okay, so I'm getting another story. Here's another story that I'm getting. I feel like this person is going to end up dropping a third party or people involved here. And they're going to come towards you fast. They're going to message you. They're going to take a leave of faith towards you because, you know, you're their soulmate. I feel like they're going to end up ending something for this situation here. Um, Capricorn. Yeah, taking a leave of faith. There's the fool card again. Clarify the fool, please. Yeah, they feel like you're their soulmate. They want to message you. You guys could have children together. Why is the fool here for Capricorn? There's the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. Someone is jealous about someone wanting to come in and bring you an offer, Capricorn. This person might be non-committal, though. Is what I'm getting. But they're going to take a leap of faith and do this. I feel like they're only doing it for their own personal gain. To be honest with you. With the Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords here. Why the Five of Swords? Judgment. So it's like they're making a judgment call to come through. And um, bring you an offer. I really don't feel like you're paying attention to them at all. I really feel like this person here is just going to end up getting. You know. I feel like Spirit is watching over all of this uh, Capricorn and they're really going to make a judgment call to maybe um, defeat this person in a spiritual way. There could be a rebirth. There definitely could be a rebirth or a re reuniting of you guys. But I feel like there's people involved. Why is the Five of Cups here for Capricorn and the outcome? Five of Cups for Capricorn. Five of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Wow. So here's what I'm getting here. This person um, regrets everything. I feel like they've gotten rejected by you or they will get rejected. But they're definitely out in the cold. They're like waiting for you to cut them down off this post here with the Hangman here. They're holding on to their finances for dear life. Um, and then with the two of swords here, they're acting as if they don't see something or they're nonchalant. I, I'm getting an energy of them being really, like, stubborn, but they're really going through it. Clarify the two of swords, please, for Capricorn. 
Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I feel like they're pretending like they didn't see that you walked away. But, oh, they walked away. It's just that you walked away while they were dealing with multiple people. Or maybe they were fighting with friends and family about you. Or maybe friends and family didn't want them around you or something like that. I'm getting a story like that. There was people involved, definitely. And while they were fighting and arguing with these people, you just simply walked away. Stand your ground. Suffering in silence. Two different energies. You stood your ground, now they're suffering. Alright, let's see what's going on. They're going to message you though. That's what I'm getting. Alright, Capricorn, what's going on with Capricorn? Capricorn. Okay, so we have Solar Plexus Chakra. That's that creativity energy, also Divine Masculine energy. What else? What's going on with Capricorn? Yeah, passion ignited. So you may have a, a new passion that you wanted to do um, for a while. It's something that involves creativity. Um, go for that. Take action towards that. What else for Capricorn? I'm also getting that this person is coming towards you fast. I'm really getting that. They're still going to come towards you even though they know that they're going through obstacles and challenges here. Yep. They're going through obstacles and challenges here, so if they offer you something, it won't be something much. I feel like you guys are going to um, maybe heading into a new commitment, or you will in the near future. Yeah, we have sacrifice here with patience and planning. So you sacrifice this person here, and now... Wow, Sagittarius just got this. Sacrifice and patience and planning. Disconnect and boredom here. So this person is like... Yeah, this is their real energy right here. So they may act as if they're not in discontent and boredom, but they are. Um, you sacrificed this person, and now spirit is trying to teach you to how to be patient. Yeah, because the universe may bring a firm foundation for you. Um, yeah. Tell me more for Capricorn. Tell me more. Yeah, awareness. Be aware of things around you. Yeah, triumph. You're getting triumph, you're getting uh, success and victory because you are aware of the truth here and you're going into your destiny. But alright Capricorn, that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.